Hello and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. So today we are here asking the age-old question Is No Man's Sky worth playing in 2024? Now, I actually have my own personal save that I have about 12 hours of gameplay into and I will get straight to the point with this video. So as you can clearly see this is my home planet. This is where I spawned and decided to actually live up. Live. This is where I live, right? So I'm going to show you a little bit inside my house. It's not fantastic. I'm not no like master builder, but it, 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 I, I enjoy this. So this is my house. So and everything is currently out of power. Here we are. So we have some power in our base. Now this is what I have decided to basically do with my um, living quarters now <clears throat> no man's sky as a game is in my humble opinion genuinely a fantastic play in 2024 now so just gonna go ahead and call my own ship I have myself this is kind of like the remnants of my old um, accommodation my old base I need to basically like scrap it and sort out but because I've got solar panels it kind of does its own work so it's not like much of an issue I have my own little buggy I have a place where I can like go ahead and store the buggy so like I said I've got my buggy I have my um, my own ship with its own landing pad I have the ability to be able to fast travel to other areas where I can then go ahead and engage myself in space battles I have my own little colony. I have my own planet. So, like I say, I've got my own settlement. I also have a freighter. So, I have an absolute ginormous ship. So, I'm going to take you to my capital ship. So, if you are playing on PC, there is still issues with the frame drops when you're loading in from one place to another. But it's because you're loading in so much, like... The game is genuinely rendering so much of absolutely everything that you could possibly think of. Like whole planets, solar systems, new solar systems, older solar systems. The rendering in NPCs, other freighters. Like, you can see the, um, the ring to my uh, actual planet. This is where I live. This is where I inhabit. So I'm going to show you right now on what you can actually do in your ship. Now, if we actually go over here to our command station, this is something that you have to earn and build. You do not just get a freighter and start with this. You have to work up to getting a command station. You can clearly see that if I debrief my commander, I sent my commander, who is in charge of a ship, on a mission that was able to gather resource and materials for myself. As you can see, I've got some Gravitino balls, some Albumen pearls. I've got some nice credits for myself. So we have just completed our mission. We've completed our expedition. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're actually going to show you as well that you can upgrade your freighter. Now, you can see here that I can upgrade all kinds of parts. I can give it a better warp resonator. I can upgrade the shields. I can make it hit harder if you're in a space battle. You can call upon your freighter to, to actually help you. As you can see, there is customization. You can customize the engines. Ooh, actually looks lovely. We'll keep that on, actually. Yep, save changes. So I'm going to take you downstairs. And I'm going to take you outside of my freighter. Because you can, well, as you can see, my, uh, my ship is here, ready for me to use. So without further ado, let's get in the radiant pillar. Let's get up. Luckily enough, when you are in a freighter, what actually happens is, is you don't actually use any resources. Because if you use a boost drive, a warp drive, thrusters, anything of the sort, it comes from somewhere. So it is taxing. You have to use it. So as you can see, we where my freighter is, we are not far away from a space station. There's another planet. Here is my ring world, I think. I did not mean to do that. Now that we're out of a freighter, you can clearly see that, well, it's an absolute behemoth. 
I actually think we are, yes, we are actually, we're above, we are above our settlement, which I think is the case. I'm just going to double check. So as you can see, you can see my solar system. Now, I can go and easily join a friend's solar system. I can go and join a friend's planet, um, which was something that was considered virtually impossible beforehand. So what I want to do, or what I intend to do right now, is I'm actually going to show you where my settlement is. Because the settlement is something that you can do that was introduced, I think, later on in the game. So you can quite literally build up a place from scratch. Is that not cool? <laughs> is that not interesting? Like, you can build up a place from scratch. You can um, deal with the politics. You can deal with how people will argue back and forth against your decisions. Like, the game is absolutely, genuinely fantastic. I went to the wrong area. I actually went to the wrong area. Now, it's good that I made this mistake because I can show you that for me to repair my hyperdrive, I would need some warp cells. So, when it comes to your starship or your crafting, um, if I go over here, I can see that I need some antimatter housing, which I will get from oxygen and ferrite dust. So, the game is very heavy on making you work for what you have. It's not just where you will quite simply gather yourself and be able to easy go from A to B, especially if you're on a survival world. Now, to make this better, to show you another feature, I'm going to fast travel from the space station because I know I don't have the materials to actually be able to go from A to B. I'm going to fast travel, uh, fast travel from the space station to my settlement. So I'll still be able to show you my settlement. I'll still be able to show you what a settlement is, what it looks like. Obviously, I don't know if they're any different. I don't know if they're going to look, feel, or even like um, you'll gather the same kind of um, issues at each different settlement. But from the one that I have, from the last time I played this save, which wasn't too far ago, um, we had a couple of issues that we had to sort out between um, settlers, as in making sure that the... Wow, this is laggy. Uh, as in making sure that they are, by all means, um, satisfied with your decisions. Now, let's fast travel to our settlement. Let's see if we have any issues that we can raise. And I'll, if I can do, because I don't think I'll be able to show because I know full well that the last time I played, I did not have the uh, materials to actually finish up what I'm doing. But I'm actually making a shipping bay, which I'm sure I'll be able to house ships and be able to fast travel, maybe house people. So, oh, perfect. Here we go. So, we actually have to defend our settlement. We have to make sure that we are... Oh, this is not good. I can't remember how to change weapons. Here's one thing I'll be able to show you. So you actually have to defend your base against enemies that will actually come and attack it. They will basically try and absolutely ruin your day. Now, I've already got myself quite a established alt caster. It's quite decent, as you can see. It's the reason why I'm absolutely violating these scrubs. But these are some of the things that you have to actually encounter while, well, having your own settlement. Now, luckily enough, with the bolt caster and with its ammunition, it does not take a lot for you to craft at all. You, you're talking super cheap, not super expensive, and it's a fantastic way of being able to not only kill animals that are like um, aggressive against you or trying to attack you, but also like it's fantastic for defending against well your settlement. It's good for that. So, I think that should be everything done other than this bad boy. You can get all kinds of enemies. Like, you're never going to get the same enemy. Um, I think I've had, like, a mech that came down and tried to destroy me one time. That was quite, quite rough. Um, there is some more. There we are. They're all coming for me. Now, this is what I'm saying. Like, you're not going to always get super hard mechs to kill. These are actually quite... There he is! There's the mech. There we are. Perfect. 
Now, your weapons aren't always going to be the same as mine. I think you can get, like, uh, fully on automatics. I know you can definitely get some better weapons. I'm actually quite basic in terms of, like, the, uh, the weapons that I actually possess at the moment. So, I am really doing a fantastic showcase for you lot. Showing you basically everything. There we go. And I think that should be big, bad boss done. And he drops a huge shield. We've got some nanites. We've got some ammo. And I think that's it. We have. Right. So. This is my settlement. This is where my settlers reside. I defended them. I made sure that they were able to live. Now, as you can see, that's my starship right there. That's where we are building towards. We are currently building towards making a starship house lay like, houses it is making a landing pad so we actually need three aronium now i know when you complete this there's another thing for you to make so and so forth so yeah i mean in general this is basically like how good no man's sky is and if you are if you are already at the end of this video and you are seeing this say no Man's Sky in the comments just so you can let me know that you have seen this you can clearly you've watched this far into the video and if you can do please hit the like button like it makes making these videos so much more enjoyable seeing that I've got even two likes on a video like it's, it's fantastic right but this is what No Man's Sky is this is what the game actually is is No Man's Sky worth playing in 2024? 100%. Without a shadow of a doubt. There is nothing that would change my mind. Nothing. I personally think this game was like... You've seen all the memes. Let him cook. This game was let him cook. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is, this is what I mean. Like, you have politics in your game. So... I will leave this thing. Uh, I will leave this thinking. Are concerned by a craze for extreme dancing them on the citizens. They are at odds with the citizens. Only 45 of whom support a ban. Now I can ban it and get minus two citizen dancing, or I can not ban it, get plus two citizen happiness, not citizen dancing. So I can ban it and get minus two citizen happiness. Or I can not ban it and get plus two. Simple, easy question. My settlers are happy. That is all that matters to me. That is exactly why this game is genuinely fantastic. You can see your settlers. Look, 24% happiness. We need to be we need to be better. Do you know what? With that being said, I think that's an absolute perfect way to end this. I've showed you the game, I've showed you a bit of space. I've showed you my home planet. I've showed you what you could do. This is No Man's Sky in 2024. Is it worth playing? Without a shadow of a doubt, please, if you see this video and you've got to the end of this video, download No Man's Sky and give it a go. With that being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, all those good things down below, and I will catch you in the very next episode. As always, my friends, sweet.